hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss about i as camera system <clears throat> so so far we discussed about the brain and uh, how exactly the seven different topics under the brain we have discussed in the previous uh, classes so today we will start i as a camera system so so far we now we are having a, a rough idea how exactly we are taking this particular chapter right the concepts how exactly we are discussing because the naturally whatever we are having inside our body like a brain it can be the eye or it can be the heart a lung or whatever it is those things has got uh, you know have inspired us okay in many things okay with respect to that we are also discussing about those particular dc's which relate uh, regarding those organs where engineering com can come and give its applications to this part those particular diseases like the way what we discussed about parkinson disease in the brain okay so in i as a camera system we will be studying about the i organ i so i is a very important organ right so without i it's very hard to imagine how the life would be so to have to see something or to you know learn something okay for many applications we need i so when it comes to the technological point of i so i as a organ what it is doing for our body it is acting as a camera for a particular you know uh, whole body right so i is capturing the image okay and sometimes we are using i okay for a particular sensing uh, uh, you know particular you know what you say the uh, climate changes or whatever the things are coming in uh, in front of us when we are riding vehicle or driving vehicle okay so most of the times it will act as you know most of the times it will act as a camera only so where our i is giving us the different different picture pictures and that the brain will take directly it as a input and according to that it will behave in the previous classes if you remember i had given one of the example as the vehicle is approaching and as you are walking in a road and a vehicle is approaching towards you so you will be knowing that this particular vehicle is coming towards you and it may hit you okay so during this time what happens i sends a continuous signals to the brain okay because it is acting as a camera there okay so once we are getting to the brain starts recognizing this particular vehicle approaching towards you the signal will go to the brain understanding so i is capturing these particular moments so we, with the help of these moments only we are able to recognize the particular things are coming approaching you and that's how the eye act as a camera so inside eye there are a lot of components you might have heard about retina okay but you might have heard about cornea okay there are a lot of components are there that we will discuss okay let's start uh, that was about introduction of eye we will be we are having a different different structures inside our eyes which are responsible for you know coloration that means yeah uh, to understand what wavelength uh, light is coming and what particular color it is okay some people will have the color blindness so where they those particular proteins which are responsible for recognizing the colors <coughs> are not present okay maybe because of uh, the absence of those kind of those proteins which can differentiate the colors or maybe because of the defects in those particular proteins or maybe because of they are not functioning okay so these are the three reasons uh, where in uh, color blindness people will be having so that's why they can't able to recognize a particular color they will say blue as a green green as a green they can't recognize uh, the uh, they can't differentiate between blue and green those kind of people <coughs> i mean situations will be there that maybe sometimes it may be genetic uh, gen genetically it may come or okay, sometimes because of the uh, environment uh, uh, it might come so all these things will be there because when there are these proteins especially in our whole body it is everything is about <coughs> proteins if the proteins are not functioning then the particular functioning of the organ will be 
problem will be in trouble right so if the proteins which are responsible for recognizing the colors if they are not working then how can we expect the eye to recognize or uh, different colors so brain is uh, listening to eye that means i if it is not able to uh, differentiate blue and green color then how the brain uh, uh, you know uh, recognizes because brain is doing brain is simply taking uh, the eyes input okay so that's why they are able to differentiate uh, they are not able to differentiate between the colors some certain colors that's why we call it as a color blindness okay so let's start the topic so that's uh, why we need we are, I, and now we know all of you know that eye is a very important organ so no need to explain how important it is and why we need eye all those things that we already know so the human eye can be analogized <coughs> to the camera that means or it, it is analogous to the camera that means it is can be compared with the camera system so as both eye and camera capture the light and convert it into the image so they will capture the light in the presence of light only okay and then that that will be converted into an image now the main components of the eye that can correspond to the camera systems we can say it as with respect to the with the com in comparison with the camera if you want to compare then we are having some few components in eye what are those the first thing is the cornea the cornea it will act as a uh, it's actually a transparent outer layer of this particular eye okay which functions like a camera lens so cornea act as what lens okay so in now you are having the eye here camera here now you are comparing the cornea of eye is nothing but it will act as a lens of a camera so what lens will do it will bend the light into focus into the particular retina so or uh, or particular you know or, or the focal uh, focus okay so in camera it's a lens will make sure that the light is focused whereas the similar way our cornea will focus the light when whatever the light is uh, it has been exposed to it so that bending it will bend the light it, to focus it on retina okay so where exactly our image processing will be done so this particular so that's the function of the cornea so cornea andre enappa andre ee camera the lens tarana act agutte so lens en kelsa madutte a light anna bend maadi adanna focus madutte next processing ge image idakke so adhe tara namma cornea kannalli iruvanta horagade bhaga ikke na cornea anta karithivi aden madutte andre light anna bend maadi focus maadi retina ge kalisutte so next part is iris the iris is nothing but it functions like a diaphragm in the camera so in camera it will act as uh, after focusing this it will go to the diaphragm so diaphragm it will act iris will act as a diaphragm that controlling the amount of the light that enters to the eye that means in the uh, iris is the one it will uh, it will give you the amount of light how much how much exactly the light should be entering into the your eye so that will be decided by iris okay so this function is done by diaphragm in diaphragm in camera understanding so illi en helta idu ka iris andre en andre diaphragm idralli camera alli diaphragm anta irutte adu en madutte eshtu amount of light camera olagade hogbeku adanna adu decide madutte diaphragm okay so adhe tara iris sa decide madutte idu kannu olagade eshtu light hogbeku annodanna so cornea over iris over next the pupil so the pupil functions like a aperture aperture in a camera you are no, you know so aperture will be there so that is for adjusting the size to control the amount of light entering the eye so you will be having those uh, kind of these things right we can adjust the different different uh, you know uh, size uh, i mean what do you say that like zooming zoom stuff all those things and all so that is uh, like adjusting the size to control the amount of light entering the eye so the similar way so the pupil will work so pupil act as a aperture okay next the retina the retina is is nothing but it functions like a camera film or a sensor okay so here retina will act as a camera film that film will be there no inside the camera that uh, uh, or a sensor okay where, uh, where the capturing the light and converting it into the electrical signals that are sent to the brain so the image processing will be done in retina so what and all things happen here the similar way in camera film or a sensors whatever thing is happening like whatever the light Uh, because of the light 
and whatever the light has been converted into the image that image processing will be done in this particular uh, this uh, what you say uh, the sensor or a image film or a camera film the similarly this particular light which has been absorbed by the uh, eye that is focused to the retina now the retina will take that particular light and it will convert into the image and then that will be converted into the electrical signals now the electrical signals which is generated by the retina will send to the will be sent to the brain understanding so the similarly so uh, what happens in the camera okay so next the optical nerve the optic nerve what in the name itself it is there optic optic nerve functions like a cable connecting the camera to the computer so it should usually now if i want to transfer my data to the particular uh, computer to view the image in computer so how the uh, we need a cable right the similarly so this particular optic nerve that optic nerve will function like a connecting camera to the computer like here it will be to the brain so from the uh, retina the optical nerve will be connected to the brain so this optic nerve that will transmit that, uh, that will be transmitting the electrical signals from the retina to the brain understanding so now you got a image okay you got a light that light is has been focused to the your retina now the retina functions uh, uh, converts so this uh, light into the image image into the electrical signals now those signals need to send to the brain and to uh, for that we need optic nerve understanding so illi enal andre first namge illi cornea bend light ana bend maadi adanna focus maadi retina kalasutte iris eshtu amount of the light hogbodanna adanna fix id maadutte next pupil appears ar tara act aagi control maadabodu size anna size of the amount of light anna next retina adanna bandiruvanta light anna use maadkondu image anna create maadi adanna electric electronic signals ge convert maadi ಅದನ್ನು ಬ್ರೈನಿಗೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಬ್ರೈನಿಗೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಬೇಕು ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಬೇಕು ಅದೆಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ರೆಟಿನಾದಿಂದ ಬ್ರೈನಿಗೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಮಗೆ ವೈರ್ ಇರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅಥವಾ ನಮಗೆ ನರ್ವ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದು ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೈವ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಐರೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಡೈಫ್ರಮ್ the people will act as aperture the retina will act as uh, you know the sensor or a film of a camera the optic nerve will act as a cable okay so this is exactly how you can see so card is there uh, the retina diaphragm which will act as iris people act as aperture lens so that is what we are calling it as from this particular uh, uh, this thing and then we are having the back black point which is as you know choroid so these all are things are there many things are stuffs are there like uh, the protecting layer that this and all that also you can compare not a problem okay so uh, that's uh, that was about the comparison between the eye and the camera so this is how uh, exactly it looks like so usually you are having the pupil here iris here sclera here okay different different this is the white cheek part is a sclera and if you want to zoom in so you are having lot of you know different uh, structures you can call it as under anatomy of eye if it is asked then you will have to draw this diagram you should remember all these particular parts so this is a retina we are having a macula a optic nerve so this is the nerve which is converted from the retina to the brain so it is transferred to the brain so next whatever the image has been created here the electronic signals that will be transferred to the brain from here so you are having lens here okay that is nothing but a cornea so here cornea will act as a lens actually so uh, again inside that also we are having the eye lens also and then we are having the conjunctiva okay usually we will get conjunctivitis and all we will say you know so that will be infection here somewhere so next uh, vitreous so this part will be called as vitreous understanding so these all things are nothing but different parts of the i or you can say anatomy of i next uh, the architecture of rod and cone uh, cone cells so architecture of rod and cone cells that we will discuss in the next topic now we know this particular why this uh, i has plays a very important role because it has got uh, many applications in, uh, in in order to function uh, as a human being because if you want to go out somewhere 
so you need eye you cannot have if you are blind it will be very difficult for if you can ask a, a blind person how difficult it is to you know uh, uh, to do their their daily activities without eye so i will definitely act as a one of the potential uh, uh, what do you say a camera system so that is it's just a comparison where we are just comparing okay so illi namge enagutappa andre illi nam camera tara illi eye anna nam compare madideve so illi iris ide pupil ide lens ide adena nam helthivalla cornea so matte retina ide avella functions anna just compare madabodu matte horagade layers ella ide adanna sa nam compare madabodu like black point aa tara ella ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಐರಿಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಇದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಈ ಥರ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಏನು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಕಾಣುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಐರಿಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಪ್ಯೂಪಿಲ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಫೋಕಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಅಪೆರ್ಸ್ಟರ್ ಥರ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಲೇರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ವೈಟ್ ಇರೋದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಕ್ಲೇರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅನಾಟಮಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೀವು ಓದ್ಕೋಬೋದು ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅನಾಟಮಿ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ನೀವು ಇದನ್ನು ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಬಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲದೇ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ನೀವು ಬರಿಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಈ ಥರ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟನ್ನು ನಾವು ರೆಟಿನಾ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿರುವಂಥ ಲೈಟನ್ನು ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ನಿಯ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಅದು ಅಪೆರ್ಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಆ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಪಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಫೈನಲಿ ಅದು ರೆಟಿನಾ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಿದ್ದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ರೆಟಿನಾ ಅದನ್ನು ಇಮೇಜ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಥರ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಕಮ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ಸನ್ನು ಈ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ನರ್ವ ನರ್ ಮೂಲ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅದನ್ನು ಬ್ರೈನಿಗೆ ಕಳಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆವಾಗ ಬ್ರೈನ ನಮಗೆ ಏನು ಬ್ರೈನಿಗೆ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಎದುರುಗಡೆ ಇರುವಂಥ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಇದು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಐ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸೊ ಆರ್ಕಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಲೈಕ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ರಾಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೋನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ